Uh, let's go back to criminal affairs then. Oh yeah, we have to go through all of this. There we go. Yeah. All right, now we've tripped the information for here. Detective Gumshoe said they had an investigation briefing. Yeah. Oh, he's back. Hey, so you came, pal. Why the blunt greeting? Um, because there's nothing to be friendly or happy about. What do you mean by that? Well, things look perfect this time around. The evidence and testimony are airtight. Like I told you so many time. times, every single case is say that, but this time <laughs> I really mean it. But, 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 we can't just roll over and die. We have to stay positive. <laughs> he has nothing to say about yeah. that. Yeah. Like I've never been positive. So what do you mean the evidence is airtight? Can't give you all the details, pal, but there's two big pieces. Ooh. Both of them are in this photo. Okay. First is the button that's missing from this victim's chest. Mm, that's the button that you found during your body search of Mr. On Guard. It's a giant Thor button, man. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> found in the folds of the Nickel Samurai special Hakama pants. Uh, um, uh, the second one is? The knife in his chest, pal. The fingerprints on the knife in his chest, to be exact. Or the fingerprints on the knife on his chest, to be exact. Fingerprints? Um, whose are they? We already knew that. You didn't have to ask, little missy. It's obvious. They're mad on guards. Tomorrow's trial. Talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. So what about this airtight testimony? It's that old security lady, Miss Oldbag. I thought so. What do you mean, you thought so? Did she tell you something, pal? Um, well... And I even told her not to open that mouth of hers and blab to anyone. Her blab knob... <laughs> her blab knob is stuck on ten. And there's no turning it down, trust me. Oh, is she knob? Blab knob. Blab your knob. Blab your knob. <laughs> Yeah, well, Miss Oldbag saw it all, pal. She saw Miss Don God come out of the victim's room around the estimated time of death. <gasps> no way. Okay. Well then, uh, that didn't maybe. provide us any new information. Hopefully we can get something out of him if we show him the right thing. We already showed him the wine glass before. Yeah, we did. Maybe we could show him the newspaper article. It's the only new thing. Yeah, but also, let's check this photo real quick, just in case he has some. Look at this photograph, and you can't help it. Makes you want to say, I can't believe this is a scene of a murder. Stab the knife after a struggle. The clue is sleeping in this photo. I Somewhere, I know it. I remember oh. having to look at this photo a lot in this case. Probably mm -hmm. the glass on the thing? Maybe. Yeah, that's one thing. All right, we should... Let's see. All right. We're pretty interested in this bit of gossip ourselves. Scandal with Mr. Corita? But why? Well, two years ago, a woman committed suicide. What the fuck? Oh. That flash was a little scary. Yeah, that was weird. Oh I was, that was so sudden and abrupt that I was like, wait, what? Oh, my God. <gasps> suicide. The name was Celeste Impacts. Oh, oh my. And she was not... one Corita's manager. Victim's manager? But that's not all, pal. Miss Impacts was Miss Adrian Andrews' well, mentor. I don't like her name. Uh, I know that's supposed to be a pun, like, but I, I'm not quite getting it right now. Celeste Impacts? Like, is know. it a play on the word impacts? Impact? Plural? That's what I thought. But then I don't know what Celeste is supposed to be. I have, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know, but it doesn't feel right. <laughs> she taught Ms. Andrews everything she knew about the business from square one. You're a mentor. A woman who was both Mr. Corita's manager and Miss Andrews' mentor. 
murder suicide has something to do oh, with Oh wait, case? it's it's just a rest in peace pun. What? Also, so last rest in packs, like rest in peace, rest yeah, in packs. So, yeah. Uh, what? Yeah, it's pretty stretched out, but I'm pretty sure that's the pun because she's already dead. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You really wanna know are. more about it, pal? Yes. Mm. Don't really reach in here. She was a victim's manager and was also Miss Adrian Andrews' mentor. It's been two years since her suicide. Now those two are linked again by another death. Or uh -oh. maybe it's just a coincidence, but it, wow! Oh no. <sighs> I'm getting sick the music of started one over. <laughs> foolish idiot after another. M Miss Von Karma. You can't seem to stop allying yourself with the enemy, can't can you? Okay, to be fair, he is a liability in that regard for her. Right. Yeah, he should, <laughs> he's, he's trying, trying to save people's lives. Yeah, like in her, it, it, her from her perspective, she should have fired him a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't need a traitor in my midst. You, you don't. You don't mean. <gasps> I do. No! Scruffy. You have 30 minutes to get out of here. You are no longer needed. Goodbye. Gumshoe gets fired every game. That's... that's... Wait. wait. Oh. Please, wait, sir. If I don't get this month's pay, I'll stop. Quiet. If it weren't for traitors like you. <gasps> Who's this? Uh, Dan. Wait, that's Dan. Okay, so it is, it is that guy. I would have won. Is that what you want to say? <gasps> <gasps> Who? That voice. Edgy. Fuck. Edgeworth. Fuck. And he oh, has the best geez. song in the game. And it's is his it's his revival theme. Yes. And then they, like after use a lot in, in Miles Edgeworth investigations. Yeah, like this became <laughs> his official song. Basically, yeah. this became his theme after this game. Yeah, he's back. In it's Edge been form. a long time, right? <gasps> this person. This is Mr. Edgeworth. What am I going to do with you? Still blaming others when things go wrong. You haven't changed a bit, Francisca. You. <laughs> How dare you show your face to me without a shred of shame upon it. You've soiled the Von Karma name, dragged it through the mud. Oh. You even <laughs> ran away with your tail between your legs like the ill-breed dog you are. Are you talking about the Von Karma family creed? To be perfect in every way? Then let's hear it, Francisca. Oh, How are things going? Get mm -hmm. wrecked. Burn. I hear you are having a rough time maintaining perfection in this country. Get fucked. You. You seem to be getting crushed under the weight of it all. Get wrecked. That's why I came back. Keep your assumptions to yourself. Keep your opinions in your pocket. I haven't given in yet. I won't lose. This case is mine. I'll never hand it over to you. Never! I'll admit, it's really satisfying to see Edward just come in and just rip yeah. it over like this. It's like, shut up! <laughs> Mr. Phoenix Wright, I will see you tomorrow in fucking court. <laughs> it will be a clinical lesson on the meaning of total victory it'll be a victory royale that would like geez. in fortnite <laughs> <sighs> still the same wild mare she always <laughs> <laughs> mare huh. Huh. a good old wild mare uh, still well, the same i guess wild it's, a, pony it's slightly show. better than calling her a filly a uh, filly a wild bird <gasps> we should talk edgeworth yeah, let's talk. Wait, I, I thought you, the prosecutor Miles Edgeworth, had gone and died. I did say I chose death. Didn't I, I? I, I never, I never, <laughs> I never followed up. 
Yeah, just, I didn't even try to look into yeah, it or contact you. I probably you. have your cell phone number, but I never tried to call it. It's fine. I thought he was dead. There was never an investigation, it seems like. Mr. Yeah. Nick! <laughs> I... I never wanted to see you again! <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. I think that's enough of a warm welcome for someone you haven't seen in a year. You gonna run tomorrow's trial? You heard her, right? That wild mare hasn't given in yet, it seems. So no, I don't think I'll be making an appearance. Your hatred for me is quite unhealthy, not to mention one-sided. But I will say one thing. You can't win on your own at the trial tomorrow. <sighs> what is that supposed to mean? I have something definitive that you lack. And working together is, a def is the definition of teamwork. It's the power to find the truth. The truth? In order to understand this case, you have to understand a certain truth. Well, if you ever feel the need for my assistance, it is available to you. I'm not in charge of this case, so I can be a bit more generous with what? information. Okay, I can um, just tell you that everything. Seems wrong, but okay. Just what is going on inside his head? A lot of things may have happened, however, Manfred von Karma was still my mentor. And a perfect win record is proof of a von Karma. One year ago. You could not establish guilt in a few cases. Because of me. Are those losses the reason you suddenly disappeared from the prosecutor's office? Did you leave because you had lost your perfect win record? <laughs> I think your motivation for prosecuting trials is so selfish. Better for everyone if you never came back from the dead, Edgeworth. Get out of here. Get out of here, Edgeworth. I see. Then let me ask you something. Why do you stand in the courtroom? What, what? is your reason? Are you serious, bro? I need money. <laughs> uh, well, with Franziska, she almost always says... I will defeat you this time the instant she sees me. What? Oh, that's weird. That's weird, yeah. yeah, yeah. It should, you should kick in on the second line. Let's do it again. I will defeat you this time. The instant she sees me. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> but the courtroom is not a personal battlefield for prosecutors and lawyers. I stand in the courtroom to defend my client. God, to yeah, I save hope so. their lives. To save your client, you say? Those who think only of their own ego-driven goals. Those kind of prosecutors are reprehensible to me. Even if you're a prodigy, <laughs> or someone like you, Edgeworth. It looks like there's still a lot you've let you've yet to learn. A lot I have yet to learn, me? <laughs> well, that's enough for now. The time when you will see is coming soon enough. Oh, weird. It's, is <laughs> that this shit-eating grin of his... Uh, maybe we present shit to him. Edgeworth, help us. We have help. my kidnapped. Help. I have no interest in talking about useless evidence. That's not evidence. useless evidence at all. Can we tell him that Maya's been kidnapped? Put a little more thought into what you show me, Phoenix Wright. Still as stuck up as ever. Alright, let's, 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 let's get philosophical. Oh, never mind. Aww. I thought I was hoping him to have some sort of thing to say about attorney ship and maybe we show the the tabloid. He has nothing to give us about that camera. Nothing really? About the tabloid. Maya. We are looking into leads, but we can only look into a few key players with our limited resources. Oh, he's being really okay. There's no reason for us to waste our energy investigating this person. Why don't you just tell it to me straight and say, I don't have any info? That's weird. Uh... So, I, I'm guessing you present Adrian? 
Um, well, well, let's go down the list of key players here. Aha! Oh. There's an interesting rumor about this man. You mean the one about Miss Andrews getting close to him? Well, that's pretty common tabloid fare, isn't it? I don't take things at face value when there's more to be found. Oh, that was okay. it. That's all there was? Uh, okay. He had nothing to say about her. Yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. While I was abroad, these deplorable types of actors became popular, I take it. In a year. <laughs> <laughs> well, refreshing like a spring breeze is his motto. <laughs> refreshing? And what's so refreshing about a spring breeze? <laughs> Sounds like the pollen is not treating him well this year. Oh! Oh, uh, you he really not to respond about to old bag? bag? Oh. Adrian Andrews. She holds a large secret within herself. A secret? You can't help but feel that this whole case revolves around her. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting you would say that. Okay, so he has nothing to say about that. Oh, himself. Uh, hmm. This woman is another key to solving this case. D d do you really think so? She was Adrian Andrews' mentor a long time ago. But she was suddenly called away by a different show and became Juan Corita's manager. And then, a few months later, Celeste Impax died. But her death is ruled a suicide, right? Yes. There's still one riddle we've yet to sol- we've yet to solved. There's a lot of errors. Yeah, there's a lot of little typos here. A uh, riddle. Her suicide note. It went missing. No one could find it. Huh. But but that that implied that they found a note yeah, first. Yeah, how, how did they know? Anyway. Yeah, how would you know <laughs> that there should have been one? Because not every suicide has a suicide note. Yeah. Um... Nothing to say about that, but maybe he has something to say about Celeste? Aw, oh, missing suicide note. Miss Impax's death was most certainly a suicide. At that, there is no mistake. However, we could not find your suicide note. Yeah, that's, that's when the police began to suspect that someone had hidden it. What? That that's not how... That's not how every suicide works. Maybe they'll address it. The suicide note? Aha! Oh, 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 yeah, fuck oh, you, Marvin. Get fucked. Oh, 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 Fuck off! I don't know if Mrs. Max had ever written such a note! Ah, there was no solid evidence, however. We did find traces of ink on her right index that finger. That means nothing! Which makes the likelihood of a suicide no, note very doesn't. high. No, it doesn't! It means she was writing in general sometime that day. Well, here's the thing. We're totally gonna find the whereabouts of this note, so shut up! <laughs> Stupid! Shut up! Who would hide such a thing? Why would the ambassador do such a thing? <laughs> the police think it was Mr. Juan Corita himself. The victim? Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god, this is very graphic. That's, that's pretty, uh... This is not okay. Oh wow. Uh, I, all right. Like, there's not even like a chair or a stool under her. How did she manage this? I... Ooh. I don't know, but this is fairly graphic. No, oh, sorry, it's me. Re it's me reading. I can't advance either. because I'm not reading. He was the one who found her body, which makes him the only person who had a chance to hide her suicide note. Mr. Corita hid his own manager's suicide note, but why? As long as a note is missing, any speculation beyond this is meaningless. For now, I think you should look this over. This is a suicide oh. report. Part one, anyway. Maybe I will withhold part, part two until a later time. <laughs> Much like Obra Din. <laughs> part one? He won't part explain. Was there a suicide note hidden? I guess we'll read All right. it. So, let's we take should, a look at should. this real quick. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, that's there, it. There's nothing else to it. All right. Seriously? Well, we, we have what we that? need. Should we present that to him? Maybe he'll have more to talk about. I don't like to look through reports. I'm a prosecutor. It's not my I don't, job. I don't read. I like suicide reports even less. <laughs> Worst of all are the reports that have multiple parts like that one. That is two. Give me the second Ew. one.
two parts. What you just handed me is the first part of the report. What the fuck? Here is the sec- What the fuck? Okay, this what? is actually fucked. I hate this. This is actually stupid. The, the, this is the worst just, thing I've ever just, seen. Just imagine how this physically looks. He hands you the report. <laughs> you hand it back. He goes, yes, this is indeed the first part. Now let me hand you the second part. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> this is the stupidest thing in the world. Why is it designed like this? The second part of the report is about an attempted suicide. Toad is very angry. <laughs> I mean, Winston Payne is very angry about this. Also, he's told when he goes down the, the pipe, uh, the attempter's name is Adrian Andrews. Attempter? Miss Andrews? Oh, wait. Miss Andrews? Um, what did she do? Shh. She tried to kill herself. She doesn't seem like the kind of person to try to kill herself, though. I had forgotten that this wasn't a part of the case. Yeah, it gets it gets pretty pretty dark. Yeah, it gets a little a little down there. You think she's a strong career woman? That's just what she <laughs> wants you to think. Because strong career women women can't be suicidal. That don't that don't need no men. Yeah. Oh. She has a certain secret she's always trying to hide. Her dependent nature. That's what she's really like on the what inside. The fuck this this game is a little is so weird. Fucked. I don't like this, this part. This game is fucked up. Mm, Miss Andrews, dependent. Talk about the exact opposite of what that woman is. How do you know? Nobody knows. You don't know her. Like, the fuck? Why don't we have that second. Can we get that report, please? <laughs> Why Actually, is it, yeah, it's kind of weird. Is it? Can we check our? Where is it in our court record? Oh no, dependent nature up top. They no, they put it up top now. What? Okay. Mm. What's this about Miss Andrews having a dependent nature? Adrian Andrews' attempt at suicide was a few days after the death. It was a few, a few days after the death <laughs> of Celeste Impacts. And? And why did Adrian Andrews think about committing suicide? Because she had apparently lost her will to live. Lost her will? But why would she? Her pillar of strength, her mentor, Celeste Impacts, was gone forever. That's why. Why would that... Is that what they call falling into the grave? That's probably more of a Japanese expression. Mm -hmm. I never heard of that before. <laughs> yeah, it's probably in a Japanese saying. After attempted suicide, Adrian Andrews started attending counseling sessions. That's probably good. She's someone who needs a person in whom she can trust absolutely. And once she finds that person, she'll do anything she can to keep them near. Without such an anchor in her life, her crippling anxiety stifles her ability to live. Mm. That's... That's the nature of her dependency on others. When Celeste Impact suddenly committed suicide, the world before her turned pitch dark. That's according to Adrian Andrews herself. Th that means her super confident attitude. It's all a facade. Oh, wow, they put the thing. The yeah. little, little, little curly under the sea. She's this only copying stupid. her mentor's behavior to hold this herself is, together. This is fucking stupid. How terrible. There we go, God. That took a while. Alright, away we go. Now we Good can to see you, Edgeworth. Bye, I'm, let's not talk about where you've been or how Yeah, we doing. don't have time. There's no time. Goodbye. All right, back into the place. Now let's now let's confront her with her past trauma. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Adrian. I have a majorly triggering topic for you. Oh God, this is actually a really cruel thing to do. Yeah, what we're about to is... do. Actually, um. Oh, Mr. Andrews is here. Miss Andrews is here. <laughs> Mr. <Mister> Andrews. <laughs> Mr. Andrews. Oops. But it looks like she's talking to someone. <gasps> That's Franziska Von Karma. Keep running into her face. Miss Von Karma? 
What are you doing here? Um, well, you see, uh, I'm his lawyer, so... I've got some... You've got some nerve following me around. Following you? That's... That's you, Miss Von Karma. You're the one doing the following. Pearls? You're always following after that... Mis you're always following after that Mr. Detective with the little beard. Me? Me? Following Scruffy? Don't make me laugh. Let me show you something interesting, little girl. She has like a Dragon Ball counter. Oh or my like god. Radar. It's a, it's a fucking Dragon Radar. <laughs> it's by Capsule Corp. <laughs> oh my god. It, even looks, it looks exactly the same. What is that? <laughs> An electromagnetic receiver. I planted a tracking device on that detective. <laughs> where? <laughs> where in the, where so that he's wearing it for like months? Well, with, he never takes that coat this, off. And with this, I know that fool's every move. And it will beep like this forever. So that noise we heard was this receiver. We continue to hear it. Wait, did he not? Oh, I feel really sorry for poor detective Gumshoe now. Now then, let's stop wasting time. Adrian Andrews. Yes. Think hard about what we just discussed, understood? Stop whipping yourself. <laughs> All right. It looks like she's whipping herself. I don't remember yeah. how awkward that looked. Yeah. Why wouldn't the whip just be animated off to the side or something? You know? Sorry, yeah, I don't know. What were those two talking about? Miss Andrews seems a little dazed, doesn't she? Mmm. Let's talk to her. Alright, we gotta do the Magatama thing now. Magatama. Oh wait, now is a good time to save, probably. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be a tough one, probably. Oh wait, no, no we have to, we have to Magatama it. Yeah, it's always kind of awkward how this is designed. Yeah. Isn't there eventually, like, a dedicated Magatama button? I forget. It might have been, like, an X thing. Mm. Intimate with another person. Yeah, that me do the one. Yeah, the yeah, clipping. That. Yeah. You and Mr. Korean are out of a relationship. Uh, you don't get to the total of his uh, person's sake. Celeste impacts. Ta -da. Celeste impacts your mentor. How do you know about Celeste? Miss Impacts, she committed suicide, didn't she? It looks like no one knows why. Oh, uh, she's sweating. Right before her death, she was Juan Corita's manager. So I believe you got close to Mr. Corita so you can find out more about her suicide. You have a great imagination. You may have a future yet as a slimy mutt raker for a putrid third rate tabloid. I like the term <laughs> muck raker. Muck, muck, raker? muck raker. Ms. Andrews? There was no mystery surrounding her death. None. It would be pointless for me to force myself into a relationship for nothing. Is that really true? Was there really no mystery at all? I don't believe you were completely at ease with the way her suicide was resolved. Let me show the note. The... The first one? The first one? Yeah, because her suicide note was hidden. Uh... Oh, right. Um... Okay. Is that what we do? Miss Impact's suicide note was never found, was it? It looks like the police were under the suspicion that someone had hidden it. Like maybe the person who discovered her body, Mr. Corrida? One. And Miss Andrews, I believe you thought the same thing. That is why you became intimate with Mr. Corrida. I've sat by quietly and listened to your insulting ramblings long enough. 
It's true that Celeste was my mentor. However, allow me to say this again. I had no I had nothing to do it had nothing to do with me. I didn't even know that her suicide note was never found. I'm a person who doesn't care about what goes on in the lives of others. Mm, sure. That's the impression you like to give. However, I don't think that's who you really are. What? I have evidence that says otherwise. This is proof that Celeste impacts with someone very special to you. And this is fucked up. Yeah, I don't this like it. This is pretty bad. Like, I don't like it. Ms. Andrews, you you nearly <laughs> went through with it too, didn't what you? What is this game? What the fuck? This game went through with what? Ending your life. <laughs> oh my god. Ms. Andrews, you look and act like a very strong woman who has it all together. <laughs> this is... You don't ask for anyone's help, relying only on yourself. Yes. I've been very independent ever since I can remember. <laughs> yes, that's me. I'm very independent. That is me. <laughs> However, that is all just a lie. A facade. This is such bad framing. Yeah, you've always yeah. searched out people on whom you can depend on. <sighs> that, that's... You were dependent on Miss Impacts, weren't you? Which is why... When she passed away, you lost everything you had. Stop. Yes. When Celeste passed away so suddenly like that, I died a death of my own. But, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't stop thinking about what had become of her note. You must have heard about the police report. The one that said the police suspected Mr. Corrida of hiding Miss Impax's note. You heard about it and thought to recover it from him by getting close. Am I right? Why would he keep it? Why wouldn't you? If, if, if or maybe he just had... wanted to know what the hell happened to it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't need to get it, it specifically, but, you know, find mm -hmm. out what it was. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, then everything changes. Uh, what do you mean? What topic did we start this conversation on again? It was why the victim was killed. Exactly. Somehow, Miss Andrews, it seems that you have become the one with the reason to want Mr. Corrida dead. What? Me? Miss Impacts was everything to you. And then she died. And you would do anything to find out why she killed herself. Even commit murder. Murder? See? Multiple locks can break off before we have to do anything else. Mm-hmm. See, Marvin, you're wrong. You're not right at everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not right. Uh, it's the true. music off. I'm a woman who can only live in insecurity. Wow. <laughs> what the fuck, oh, man? Wow. Okay. This is stupid. This oh, is a God. really, really blunt understanding of psychology. <laughs> well, I'm, phys it is I'm Japan. physically small, and wow. I don't really have a lot of self-confidence. Yeah, and it's okay. very Japanese to bring that up, too. Jeez. I've pushed against all that, though. I've tried to live strongly. I never wanted anyone to find out the truth. Oh, this, this version of the theme. Miss Andrews. It's like the really sad samurai theme. Yeah, you're, he's like walking in the distance. <laughs> this is the one thing I'm... This is the one thing I wanted to take with me to the grave. It was my secret. Mine and mine alone. I, yeah, and you I'm fucked sorry. that up. <laughs> you probably think I'm a worthless <laughs> human being right now, don't you? Wow. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, like I am, I'm subbing in all of the Japanese lines that would typically be playing in my head because yeah. it's a little less harsh when it's just the same stuff that you always hear in Japanese dialogue. Yeah. Please, Miss Andrews. All I want to know is the truth. After Celeste passed away, I heard that someone had hidden 
her suicide note. And that someone was Juan Carrada. Carita. Celeste, without her. Without her, I became scared. Everything, everyone seemed like they were out to get me. So you got close to Mr. Carita to, to recover her suicide note, correct? Looks like that tabloid reported the truth after all. Ironic, isn't it? Well, like they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if they purposely add fuel to the fire, they keep it. the celebrity world burning. <laughs> what a metaphor. Uh, that was a weird cut Pearl's to Pearl. Pearl's like, okay. <laughs> Pearl is so, like, unimpressed. Pearl's like, she, like she's actually thinking about something else entirely. <laughs> but as for the suicide note, she's thinking about my I little didn't pony. and wouldn't kill <laughs> anyone for it. I hope they still make that shampoo I like. <laughs> it just doesn't That's a really me. good cutaway. That's all. <laughs> I know. It's so real. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's enough for now. I still have work to do, so. Yep, enough about my deep rooted traumas. Yeah, but we'll just casually confront you with your past suicide attempts. And oh, I have one small favor to ask. My attempted suicide. I'd like for you to keep it a secret. No, I'm, I'm going to... I mean, she shouldn't have to ask this, but it's it's prudent of her to do so uh, in I'm this gonna, situation. I'm going to go on Reddit and fucking blast it out everywhere. Right. Miss Andrews? Caught in 4K. Oh, God. If people found out about my weakness... Oh, my God. I would sooner choose to oh die than God. live. Oh, my God. This is so... This is so awful. This is essentially just a threat to self-harm again. Oh, God. Also, like, referring to it as a weakness. I mean, God. Yeah, yeah, this oh, is good. All right, I understand. We'll keep it a secret. Miss Andrews. I guess she's the overthinking type. She probably never says anything without carefully thinking it through first. Thank you for your discretion. Mr. Nick, can I ask you something? What is it? Miss Andrews has been playing with that card in her hand since a little while back. Oh, we're finally seeing it, seeing, drawing attention to it. That card! Yeah, I guess she has. Miss Andrews, what is that card you're holding? Huh? Oh, this? I don't quite know. It just suddenly appeared in my handbag. What? Why would you just hold that? What is it? It looks like a seashell? That's what it looks like, doesn't it? I honestly don't remember owning this card. I wonder where I picked it up from. We're not remembering something clearly. It's like it would be a rare occurrence. Well, I must be off. I leave... I leave Mr. En Engard in your capable hands. I forgot his name for a minute. Uh, on guard. On guard. En garde. Uh, en guard. On guard. Away we go. Oh, we have oh, to talk to oh. Pearl in the hall. Hall Pearl. Well, I think we've gathered about all we can. What about Mystic Maya? Is she alright? Oh, Pearls. She looks so worn out by all this. It's weird that this didn't, that this conclusion didn't just happen inside the room. Yeah, it's a little, maybe you wanted to do it privately in the hallway? <laughs> yeah, like I feel like other investigations have wrapped up like a little more seamlessly. Hmm. She hasn't slept at all and has been walking all over the place with me today. Well, she can walk from Crime Village to your office. She ran, actually. Yeah. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? Let's go back to the office for a little while. You're really tired, right? Also, you promised me that massage for my back. Oh, oh it's true. <sighs> no, don't take it that way. I'm saying we're going to put it through manual labor. I'm okay. Really, I'm fine. I really am. You don't look fine to me. <laughs> you look ugly. <laughs> you look you tired look like, and ugly. You look like a ghoul. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm Wolverine. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's not where I was supposed to go. I kind of hate travel sometimes. 
she comes to court with that fucking space. She will. God. So what now? Well, we did find one thing out for sure. Miss Andrews has a motive. You mean Miss Impact Susan now? That's right. She was also the one to discover the victim's body. Clever. Oh, beep, beep, beep. Ah, this is Nick, the transceiver. Hello? Right in Cola offices? Mr. Attorney, you're not answering the phone. Yeah, I'm busy. <laughs> M M Maya! Where's Maya? As I promised, I have not gone within a few feet of her this whole time. Phew. Which is why, I suppose, she is absolutely famished. <gasps> what? So I suggest you win a quick acquittal, my friend. At any cost. Wouldn't you agree? Wait, are they implying she's gonna die from hunger in a day? I don't I mean, know. I think she ate a huge meal right before she was... Maybe she's been poissoned. <laughs> Wait, Maya, let me hear her. Very well. Ask my... Maya, is that you? Sis, ask my sis. <gasps> Maya, Maya! Damn it, he cut me off. <laughs> like a damn fiddle. Mystic Maya said, ask my sis, didn't she? Sis. <laughs> oh, my, oh my god, really? Phoenix. You <laughs> fucking moron. <laughs> that might make a little more sense in, Jap in Japanese. Sis, what does she mean by that? It might be that, like, she only got out, like, one the, the first or something, syllable, uh, yeah, like, yeah. one Oh, and people and are then... like, oh, God, in English, you have no idea what sis means. Yeah. It's they one they would probably things. have to cut off the S, so S, I ask my sit. Yeah, ask if they did that, that, if they did that, that might make it a little better. Um, also, Pearl in general ends up coming off a lot dumber than she should because her difficulties in reading come from kanji. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, just keep that in mind, everybody. <gasps> is this, is that, this supposed that, to be Mia? That's you. That's you. Come on, Phoenix. You're a hopeless one. Oh, s sorry. Ah! Man, oh, no. Pearl is fast. Get Pearl ready for is cleavage, not... everybody. No, no, no. Oh, my fucking God. This <laughs> small-ass costume. <laughs> that's, like, so small. Mia! I have a message from Maya, so come ask me anything you want about her. How? You can't talk to her <laughs> while she you're... She glares at you. How can you... Did she write it? Probably. Oh, she... That's easy to do. I guess. And they know Ooh. how it works, so they might as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's Maya? She's safe for now. That kidnapper is one to keep his word, it seems. She, she lives an incredibly dramatic life. Yes. <laughs> Glad to hear she's safe. But Mia, how did you know? As soon as she was locked up, Maya called for me. I read the note she left. See? Oh. They think about things sometimes. <laughs> then I gathered as much information about her surroundings as I could. I didn't know you could use spirit channeling like that. Pretty smart of her. Can you spirit channel like a really strong wrestler or warlord? We went then, over this. this. We need to know who they are and they need to be dead. And they need to be willing to come into your body to, to, to wreak havoc. Just bring, bring back Genghis Khan or something. Just bam. The kidnapper. Japan, he's called Genghis Khan. <laughs> what's, he call, what's he like? He's pretty ruthless. I don't know. Apparently, Maya went to answer a phone call at the hotel and was drugged there. <laughs> and? She didn't see the face of her attacker. Arg. Come on. Like, it was clear just from what we saw that it was the same goddamn bellboy. Maya is locked up in a very dark place right now. Gah. I'll tell you everything I heard when I was with her. When you were with her? What? Oh, God. So this is a flashback, I guess. <gasps> I'm starving. I 
could really go for some apple pie. Well, some wine. You can drink I that mean, wine. At, at a time like this, sweets are the only way to go. Wine well, can there's be a sweet. bunch of wine. You can survive off that. Yeah, for sure. I have to stay positive. He promised he wasn't going to kill me. I'm not going to die. Sis, I wonder if you're I wonder if you're with Nick right now. Oh, oh Maya right. perspective. I forgot, I forgot that we actually got to play as Maya for this brief moment. You're basically. Maya now. There's all sorts of things piled up here. But it's too dark to see, even though there's a bright light on. Yeah, yeah. I know. There's Well, that's pretty conspicuous, but I want to look at this wine. What's this? It feels like there are a lot of glass bottles here. And these, they feel like barrels. I'll pass. Too bad I'm really hungry and not really thirsty. Let's just fill your Eventu belly. Eventually, you're gonna, you're gonna settle. Oh my god. And you'll feel good. Drat. It's locked. Drat? Drats. Hmm. Oh. But this door is locked. Seems easy enough to open. What? On TV, the hero always uses a plastic card or a stiff piece of cardboard. You know, on a surprising amount of doors, that actually works. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Then click, they magically open the door. I wonder if there's a card like that around here. So it doesn't look like that sturdy a door. If you kept kicking on it, it'd probably break off. Damn it, I missed. <gasps> Huh, someone dropped a card here. It's got a shell on it. It kind of looks like a business card, but there's no name on it. Oh, so it's the same fucking shell card? Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a picture of a, it's a picture of a seashell, I think. It sure is. What a strange card. Ah, that's it. This shell card. If I use this, maybe I can get the door Does open. Does she have a court record? This might be my key out of here. She does. Uh, she oh, has everything. Oh, she. Oh, but this is all Phoenix's. Yeah. No, Phoenix's it's not. She's going to talk to anyone, so she yeah, can't yeah, yeah. use the mechanics. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It would have been cool if she had her own, like, court, like, inventory and court record and, like, her own opinion of the profiles. Yeah, that would be. I had a feeling cool. this card would might be useful. I'm such a genius. Actually, now you say it. Oh, my God. What was that? Uh, okay, everything is still written in, in yeah, Phoenix's yeah. perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now if you'll excuse me, Mr. Kidnapper. <laughs> oh. I did it. Okay, now I'm getting the heck out of here. Okay, so she's out. <laughs> I shouldn't keep Nick waiting or worried. Mm, okay. Oh. Oh my I God. forgot that she made that much progress in escaping on her own. Dang. What? How will Maya escape this situation? 